Coach Friend, tough weekend for you. You get the one to nothing loss and then a zero zero tie. Tough weekend. Got some frustrated young ladies. They uh, feel like they should have gotten more out of their first four games. Uh, there's, but they've gone beyond the question of confidence. Now they're at the point of, let's get it done. You know, there's there's a little bit of anger in their in their voice, and so Friday night was was. Surreal for me. I'm watching it from Maryland, and and uh, I thought they played very well. They created a tremendous amount of chances, um, but I have to give credit to Nevada for finding their moment, scoring on that moment, and then finding a way to manage the game and close it out. Sunday's just crazy game for both teams. Uh, lots of injuries. They, uh, I think it might have been a little bit of fatigue, so people were coming in a little later than they're used to. Um, but this is a uh, this is a group that's pretty resilient, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can put together. Yeah. The injuries. How much of a concern is that for you? You got CSU, Wyoming this weekend. Will you be able to even get enough ladies out there? <laughs> <laughs> we did get pretty banged up uh, over the last uh, five days. Uh, this is, uh, in the words of a famous um, poet and philosopher, Eminem. You get one opportunity. So this is a chance for opportunity. It's a chance to see this is a full squad. We'll see who's going to rise up and, and uh, step out there against Wyoming and, and CSU. These are always traditionally very, very close games. The, the entire conference is that way this year. Nobody's going to uh, – I know Boise's 4-0 right now, but I, I don't think any team's going to go undefeated this year. It, it's just going to be that close. You mentioned the frustration for your team. Have you talked with them about how to maybe channel that and make it something good? Yeah, I told them, you know, I, what I've been talking about is, is put the last game behind you. You're only as good as your next game, as your next touch. But for some people, that might not be the right answer. And I've told them, you know, if, if you're angry, if you're frustrated, um, why don't you channel that into something positive and powerful for us on the field? You, you have deserved more. Uh, you you could have easily won all four games. You could have lost all four games. We've walked away with two losses and two ties. So I think they're starting to, you know, get around that and start working on the game from the neck up and just find a way to, to be confident on the field, to channel that energy during the 90 minutes. I don't really want to hear about how they feel before and after the game. I, I want to see it during the game, and they do too. Talk to me about Jen Hedink. How's her – head game from the neck up. I mean, it's got to be tough to be. It seems like because there's a lot of pressure on her. A lot of pressure on Jen. She's feeling uh, like uh, she can't make a mistake. Uh, that's not really the case. Uh, she's, she's done well. I mean, we've only given up three goals in, in four games. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty good run so far. Um, but we, we got to help her. We got to make the shots more predictable when they come in. We, we've done a very good job defensively. We've got to hold the ball a little bit more in the midfield. We're creating chances, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get to the end of some of those chances and, and put the round thing into the rectangle to win some of these games. That'll be nice. Go north, CSU and Wyoming. Good luck this weekend. <laughs> Thank you, sir.